Hello! Welcome to another immigration art video. My name is Art Saratelli, and together with my law partner Mara Mial, the two of us are the attorneys that run the Saratelli Mial PLLC immigration law firm. We've got clients all over America and all over the world. If you've got a question about anything, send us an email. If you've got a question, we'll have an answer. This video is the analysis of the new STEM extension rules that grant 24 months of STEM extension instead of 17. I've got um, from my notes here, again, nothing fancy. I just took some notes after reading the regulations, and I've got six points. Six points I'd like to illustrate for you, the main six points of the new rule. But before that, let me tell you the biggest secret, the biggest secret. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. The secret is the 24-month period of OPT STEM extension gives you three years of OPT. And if you're not from India or China, not from India or China, you can go straight from OPT to a green card without using H-1 B. Now this will work mostly all the time for people in the EB2 green card category. If you're in the EB3 category, in the future you may not have as efficient and quick of a wait time as we have right now at the filming of this video in May 2016. Here's the secret. If you're not from China or India, where there are crazy, crazy long backlogs, not due to any fault of the poor people from India or China. It's due to the fault of our broken immigration system that, that uses rules counting quotas by country that were derived and written in 1965. In 1965, India and China never even had American institutions of higher learning on their mind back then, and the reverse. America never dreamed of bringing Indian and Chinese students to America to study at an advanced level. The rules are broken. The people are fine. The people are brilliant. The rules are stupid. Um, so anyway, here's the, here's the thing. The thing is, if you are, just let's take a master's degree holder. If you're a master's degree holder, and you have three years of OPT, it's going to take you one, maybe two years, one if you self-sponsor, two if you um, go through the PERM labor certification process. It's going to take you, how about this, it'll take you less than three years to get a green card. So, if you, with a master's degree, and maybe if you have a bachelor's degree, we'll have to, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the wait times in that EB3 category, but the point is Obama has released all the pressure on the H-1B April 1st deadline. If a large portion of the H-1B population, in, in other words, everybody who's not from India, who's not from China, and who has the eligibility for a three-year OPT period, including the 24 months of STEM, you guys don't need an H-1B. You work for private industry, get the company to start thinking H-1B, no. Green card, yes. Green card, yes. And I'll help you explain to the employer why the H-1B 
is for the birds and you with a brilliant mind and three years of OPT should be getting straight into that darn green card line. That's the secret. Obama removed a lot of people from the H-1B quota, that stupid, lousy, rotten, dumb quota, every April 1st, all the non-Chinese, non-Indian, STEM people don't need an H-1B anymore. And that helps. This is the other secret. That helps the people who are from China, who are from India, because they need the H-1B. So please get my help to ask your employer and to persuade them to blow off the H-1B. Stop, stop, stop thinking negatively about immigration in terms of all the bad H-1B news out there and think happy, happy thoughts, happy thoughts get you in line for a green card right away. Right away. It's the only way, if you want my opinion. Yeah, there are going to be restrictions with travel. Yeah, there's going to be restrictions with your intent. Blah, blah, blah. Don't let a lawyer discourage you. Listen to me, I'm telling you. This is the biggest secret out there. people from India and China. You should be getting in line for an H-1B fast. Every April 1st, we'll see. We'll see how much the demand for the limited uh, 85,000 quota restricted H-1Bs. We'll see how much the demand decreases, but it better decrease and if it's not, it's because employers are thinking the old way. And people like me and you, we got to convince people to start adjusting their thinking. We need a paradigm shift. Obama has set the table. Now let's sit down and have dinner. All right. Now getting back to our six points. New STEM OPT regulations, point number one. So, so, there you have it. If you have any questions, send us an email. Email is your best bet, and then we'll schedule a time to talk from email, and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching.